seventh play of BYU's initial possession. They've moved it 40 yards so far. Algiers really been running well, and Algier has some room to the outside. Algier headed to the end zone, and did he get the pile on? He did. Touchdown, BYU. 34 yards. Rank for them a year ago. They need to kind of step up and make some plays here. Katoa is getting into the secondary. He's got a chance to go, and now each of the two BYU running backs have found the end zone, and they are absolutely gashing the midshipmen. Wilson with a little tunnel. Romney has running room, and Romney going down the sideline, still on his feet, and Gunnar Romney will stroll into the end zone with another BYU touchdown. Under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Johnson rolling out, looking downfield, throwing long for the end zone, and touchdown, UAB. The catch made by Austin Watkins. That's really a two-headed monster for the Hurricanes. Fourth and one on a handoff, and Harris breaks it free across the 50. At the 40, the 30, he's going to go all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. 66 yards. Cameron Harris. So this one's 7-7, just over 10 minutes to go before halftime. Here's King back to throw, and now it opens up for him. He will die for the end zone. Well, there he takes off and lands in for six. And a play later, Nwangu with his first career touchdown. Eddie Ogamba to kick it off for Iowa State. Chris Smith, Eli Mitchell back. Smith. World-class speed, and he finds a seam uh -oh. and a stiff arm. He's got the 50-yard line in a foot race. He is gone. 95-yard touchdown return for Chris Smith. Under the notes I have for Chris Smith, speed back. Iowa State suffocated the Raging Cajuns ground game in the first half. A team that was six in the country in rushing last year. Deep ball coming from Lewis behind coverage. Caught. First down and Mark Cajuns. Peter LeBlanc takes it all the way for a 78 yard score. There, Guerrero. Oh boy. To the 30. To the 40. He's to midfield and in a sprint, and he takes it inside the 30. It's a second kick return for a score for the Raging Cajuns today. And they're raging in Acadiana. Just watch the center. He's going to take his cut off at 60. Long throw. And wide open is Hennigan as a player slipped in the secondary for Charlotte. And Hennigan burns them for the touchdown. Thirteen and one last season. All they do is win. Should make that a song. McAllister on the return. Bounces it outside. Breaks a tackle. He might go the distance. Aaron McAllister to the house. And just like that, it's a two-point game. Buchanan look at him again. Jacoby Buchanan. Can he get into the end zone? Yes. Oh, Jacoby Buchanan. A 40-yard house call showing his feet, you mentioned, and his wheels for another Army score. Seemingly found its stride here in the second half. They're shy again. In open space. And he will score. Shy Words with a touchdown. A 41-yard run. They looked like they were much improved in week one. A low snap, but handled by Vid, and he's got... 
Sturgis wide open for a big game down the left sideline. Inside the 20. Still going inside the 10. He'll go all the way for a touchdown. And when you're down six, I think it's the right call. Game. Yeah, agreed. Vitt throws. And that one is intercepted. Coming back the other way. Rashad Wisdom down the sideline. Trying to put the game away. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Wow. Dean has had an excellent day punting. He's going to try to pin Texas State deep. We'll see if he can. Clean snap. He'll angle the punt. And it's going to be scooped up on a bounce. That's Haydell with all his dramatic moves across the 25. Haydell, here he comes to the 35, to the 40, still going. Haydell to the 30, to the 20. Has he done it? He did it. And the Bobcats are an extra point away from going ahead. They tied it up. Field goal doesn't do him any good. Play fake. That throw is caught. Barbie with flags thrown everywhere. So two things we have to check on. Number one, what's the penalty? It's against the defense. Now, Rod, you have a kicker who missed an extra point. Do you go for two? Right there. We saw people live, walk off the field, which is great. Third down and eight for Pickett. Now he steps up, has a receiver wide open. And Turner will walk into the end zone. Plenty of time for the freshman. Wide open, Rambo inside the five. The Sooners drawing first blood with Charleston Rambo. The strike from Rattler, 53 yards, 20 to nothing. Owen joins Rattler in the backfield again. Four wideouts. Rattler swing it out to McGowan. And he's got some space. Dashing through the seam. Full send. Seth McGowan. Touchdown, Oklahoma. His second of the night. And Sales hoping for the chance to return this one. Ball through the fingertips under pressure. And this ball is a touchdown. Campbell unable to boot it away. And for USF, a little bit of good fortune on special teams. Play action, and there it is. Josh Moore, foot race, one of the fastest on the team, and you will not catch Joshua Moore. What a way to start the season. First play, new offensive coordinator. Big, but they're big on the field when it comes to production. Fitzpatrick off the double move. Deep ball. He caught it! Fitzpatrick has it, and he's going to score a touchdown for the Bills. Savvy player, Bailey Zappi. You see the shoulder shrug to the left to get him to jump the, 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 the bubble route and then throw the slant underneath. And then he caught him sleeping. Dormius being chased from behind. Will anybody catch him? No. And Houston Baptist with a 65-yard touchdown pass. Zappi to Dormius. Back within two scores. Three-man rush. Zappi flushed. Downfield, Josh Stearns inside the 20, speeding for six. And Houston Baptist, a two-point conversion from tying this game. Still plenty of time, and Zappi lofts it downfield. He's got Josh Stearns, makes the catch in stride. Stearns is gone, his second to long touchdown. And this Houston Baptist team refuses to die.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.